Twitter supporting the Wrestling Mayhem show. So I feel, I don't know, I, I feel wrong almost. It's coming up. We got to mention it. It's the start of WrestleMania season. Uh, it's the start where, where we start getting excited about the, the mainstream wrestling right now. It's the Royal Rumble this weekend with a whole new twist on it. And, and there's a lot of speculations. Uh, everybody's talking about this weekend. Are we going to see it? AJ Styles. Is Daniel, I, didn't even, I didn't catch. I saw there's news about Daniel Bryan, but I didn't even, even, even uh, uh, get a chance to, to, to see what that was about. Um, other than there's good vibes going on there. There's speculation. Maybe we should add a number 31 to the Royal Rumble if you're doing your polls. I, I see, I, and I see, I see, I see heads shaking and nodding as I'm saying all that stuff. Uh, most, most violently is is Mad Mike down there, and uh, and, and Matt the other way. Um, uh, you know, Royal Rumble match. What the heck is going to happen here? I think Roman's just going to walk away with it. I think Roman's going to look strong and go through 29 men. Myself, or thirty, or thirty, or thirty other men. <laughs> if the if the if the speculations. And, and, and fantasy bookings are hold true. Hey, it, well, the word is people think that uh, uh, we're just going to drop uh, Triple H as a, as a surprise number thirty-one. He has to go through at the last minute, right? I don't think that's going to be the case. No, I don't <laughs> I think so either. See the look on Chris's face. <laughs> I do think that's going to be the case. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, the Raw writer, the WWE writers have uh, have been reading some. Lucha Underground ideas uh, that things have, that have happened. So oh. I have a sneaking suspi- suspicion that if it is a mirror of what I think it, it is a mirror of, then I wouldn't be surprised. No, wait, 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 wait. Does this happen? Is, is, this, is this a first time? Have you seen, have you noticed uh, Lucha things popping up like that? Oh, we got, he, he's got well, yeah, I mean, they basically tried to, tried to sign our entire roster and, uh, pretty much tried to shut us down, you know, oh, but geez. like, I, I don't know, man. I, I know those guys and, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I got a sneaky suspicion. Mm. Mm. Sign your entire roster. What were they like? Like banking up the brakes truck for in Helico? What the hell was going on? Dude, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, man. we know Del Rio but, came back, but I mean, but, got- but I think, I think that's what they want to do is just take everybody, sign them in the NXT and then, and then, you know, wipe out companies. I, I know they try to do it with TNA too. And, and, uh, I'm sure ROH too, but, uh, um, I think it, it makes sense for them. They pay somebody $750 a week and put them in developmental. And then in the meantime, another company they try to take away, you know, companies rosters, you know, and they, they can just leave those guys down at NXT. They don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think they're just trying to win the midweek war. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I couldn't help it. I'm a little sensitive about this uh, about the subject of them, so. Uh, but maybe that won't happen. But I do have a feeling Triple H is going to come out number 31 and steal the Royal Rumble and the World uh, Championship. Mm, mm. So, what do you think when you see the uh, reports of the uh, four guys from New Japan being brought over? Yeah, I, I mean, I, hopefully they'll do something with them soon. I, I don't know, but uh, you know, we'll see. They have Samoa Joe, and he's just in NXT. Why? Being awesome, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I would have some of those guys show up in the Rumble and, I don't know, do something. I mean, are we going to talk about WrestleMania at some point today? Uh, a little in, bit. In a way. Okay, so when we get there, we'll talk. I'll talk about what I think for WrestleMania. Okay. Oh, you well, you can you can help us book that idea for WrestleMania later in the show. Actually, after we get the big up idea, so maybe we'll get around that discussion that was there. A real live booker, right? But but, but aside from that, let's okay, say so. We got Brock Lesnar as a part of this. We I, the Wyatts, you know, coming in. I think are 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 built very well to be a threat to this thing. Um, uh, Garza, what what do you think is going to go on here with the Royal Rumble? Do you think it's going to be rowing? Think it's going to be trips? Is it going to be somebody completely off the wall at this point? Uh, I honestly believe uh, Reigns is not walking out because they still have fast lane to do damage control. Okay. I I haven't really thought about the number thirty one spot because I just figure they'll just do it in number thirty. But I guess the thirty one is even better because yesterday they were saying that there's gonna they're promising six uh, former winners, right? Yeah, and I'm I'm thinking, okay, so it has to be Rio, Sheamus, Reigns, Lesnar, 
and my other two were Triple H and, and McMahon. So I guess that's works for, for 31. That was interesting that they just dropped that little nugget into their into their hype package. The six and I actually went through the past Royal Rumble winners. I'm doing process of elimination and it's like, yeah. Basically, by saying that six former Rumble winners will be in that match, they've guaranteed that you're going to get most likely Triple H. And, I mean, the other person would have to be either McMahon or Orton or Undertaker. That's basically your three options for the six former champion. Or the Rock. But, I mean, I think we've— Oh, no, wait. The Rock never won Rumble. No, no, he did. He won won in 2000. Rock won in 2000, but oh, sort, yeah, but but sort yeah, of he didn't. won, even though Big Show won. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even think about it. I never noticed that before until it, it came up all over the World Rumble articles this year. So, um, I, I don't know. I You know, I kind of... I wonder if they technically think that the Big Show won that. No, they don't. Think no, so. I, I don't think <laughs> no. so. No. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think, in my mind, I want... Like I want to seriously like believe that Heath Slater could walk away. That's my. That's why the Rumble was always exciting to me. You know uh, that completely Bushwhacker Lou could have become could have won that Royal Rumble back in the day, right? Uh, and that didn't happen. Um, well, Sorg, I think the only time they accomplished something like that was when Santino almost won. Right, right, right. And 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 I think that was one of the better better moments there because it, it it brought us back to think maybe maybe you know. Um, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be interesting. Um, but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be the Roman story, and, I, and I'm afraid. I think this is the bigger speculation here, guys. I think this is the bigger pick out of this. Um, will the crowd boo whatever happens at the end of Royal Rumble as hard <laughs> as the last two years in a row? Um, or are row. are we okay just because it's not happening in Pennsylvania this year? <laughs> I, I'm I'm predicting the biggest pop of the night would be whoever eliminates Roman Reigns. Okay, just just uh, and and that person will be the most over face for the next five minutes. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, and, and, and then whatever from there, we're not going to have chance of, of of Daniel Bryan, for instance, like the last two years or anything oh, like we that. We could, we could, we could, Sork. <laughs> Depends on his Twitter activity. If he strongly implies that he'd like to be there, then you know people might get on board. I, I'm just if people believe wait. there's a chance, then they will be disappointed when he's not there. I right. think we've learned that. Yeah, I'm yeah. just hoping Wade Barrett gives up his spot to Papa Shango this year. That would be awesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he's still I've been begging for Papa Shango to return to any friend that I had on the creative team forever. Like at some point, come on! I don't want to see the Godfather. I want to see Papa Shango. Mm-hmm. So does everybody else. I just won't go there. Can, can we just, just have a Papa Shango and Boogeyman moment at some point? All right. I mean, that, that just seems to really make good. the most sense. Or Papa Shango revives Sister Abigail, and that's how we get that character back from the dead. Ooh. Or, or, and maybe this is maybe nobody's thought about this. How about the Wyatts meet Skinner? <laughs> hey, Dad? Hey. Yeah. He was in NAC. Why the hell not? Right. Does he still work NXT? Yeah. Oh, cool. I, I believe so. I, I know he he ran FCW. Um, like that was his promotion, I guess. But uh, I, I didn't know that he was still on uh, past that. So, hey, there you go. I, I do. I do think because of the lack of roster this year. I heard this on another podcast, and I'm echoing the idea for all of us. This year's WrestleMania needs to have another gimmick battle royal. <laughs> really? Yes. Absolutely. But their their twist was it can only be um, gimmicks from the Attitude Era and beyond. Okay, uh, Chris. So we can have Vladimir Kozlov in there. Is, is Chris getting a call here uh, to come back for the Rumble gimmick? No. Battle Royale? <laughs> <laughs> only only pre Amon gimmicks are allowed in the gimmick battle royal this year. Hey, you should have seen when we did. Andy they almost ba- predate Amon. We, to be allowed. A side note: You got to see uh, on Indie Mayhem Show 103 we recorded before this. Um, our guest was younger than Amen, and you should have seen how happy he was. <laughs> By the way, Amen is in the hangout, hanging out for the the second segment, so he's completely hearing all this, and we're seeing his reactions. Oh, he's he, he just unmuted. Hi, Amen. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let me throw this out because this is like the big cloud that's hanging over this whole deal because last week we had um 
our pal Justin Labar on, and he was explaining why he would never, why he would not want to have Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns in the Rumble at the same time, mm-hmm. and explained how he, you'd have to get rid of Brock before Roman would come in. Well, now we know that Roman's going to be number one, so it's virtually inevitable that him and Brock are going to be in the match at the same time, which gets us, if Roman's going to win, how do you get rid of Brock Lesnar? That's like the biggest issue for me, like going into this thing. And basically you are going to get, I mean, I don't see many people predicting Brock is going to win. So at some point, somebody's got to get rid of Brock and who in the heck is that going to be? You know, it'd be really surprising if number two was Triple H and he eliminated Roman Reigns and we were guaranteed a new champion for the rest of the Rumble. That would be awesome to me. Like I love when they when they have triple threat matches like that, where it's um, a three way dance where the champions eliminated first, mm-hmm. and then yeah. you're guaranteed a new champion. That puts a sense of excitement into the whole thing. It, it, it turns because it, the longer Roman stays in that match, the longer it should be like he's gonna fucking win, isn't he? <laughs> it's kind of the it's kind of the uh, when you're watching a TV show and we're like, well, how's he gonna get out of this one? <laughs> You know, like, you know, the, you know, the main guy is not going to die. So here we go. You know, you know, like the John Cena dates. Um, uh, quick comment from the chat room. Yeah. Bobby says an eagle will swoop in from the rafters and knock Brock over the top rope. Mm. Wait, is he predicting Jack Swagger's eliminating Brock? I think he predicted <laughs> Jack Swagger's uh, <laughs> so the swagger. Well, yeah, the mascot, the eagle costume. The swagger soaring eagle. Oh, that thing no, was awesome. I forgot All about right. that. Wasn't that Chavo? <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was right. I thought it was Chavo. It was probably yeah, Hector eagle, again. Oh, the eagle. Yeah. Yeah. God, I can't remember when we did that. What who the heck was the eagle? That was Chavo. I, I thought I remember hearing it was Chavo, just under the mask. Oh, this uh, this uncle Hector. Yes. Oh uh, no, that that was a different bird of prey. <laughs> prey. Really? I don't know. Um, yes, we're, we're praying for that segment to end, Sorg. Oh, yes, yes. All right, so there's there's the rumble itself. We'll, we'll see what happens, uh, but I, I think it's an interesting story going into this, and we'll see we'll see if we can get out of the, 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 the cursed Royal Rumbles of years past at this point. Uh, but we do... Hey, we have matches at this show. Did you know that? Um, so we went from zero to, to three matches uh, 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 from a Monday night. Uh, Clistro Del Rio, of course. Uh, I've enjoyed their both of their matches that they had. Um, um, I don't like that they, they're hot potatoing the U.S. belt like that. Uh, so, but I, either way, I think we'll get a pretty good match out of that. Any thoughts on on where they're going uh, with the U.S. title? And, and, and I'm just glad to see Kalisto getting in there. Kalisto has to get that belt back. I think Kalisto is going to get that belt back too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they had Del Rio win it back, but I think Kalisto is going to take it back again. Right. That'll be a good one. Um, and of course, Divas match, Charlotte, Becky. Uh, we were talking about this on the Raw wrap-up last night. Uh, uh, Mike, uh, you know, I forget which way we were going on this. Uh, but, uh, you know, pretty, I mean, uh, great promo. And we're really kind of loving the idea of, of Ric Flair and just Charlotte over his shoulder just reacting to, to him accepting the match for her. Yeah, it was the best camera angle Raw had done in a long time. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if they just recently saw the thing with NXT and Eva Marie and Asuka, and they're like, oh, that's cool. We should do something like that. And they had Charlotte behind Ric Flair, who's being super animated. And meanwhile, Charlotte looks like someone just smelled a fart. Mm-hmm. But it was really good. And I, I, I honestly don't even know who I want to win that match, because I think either story would work, depending on how it happens. I don't care who wins. I'm just hoping this is a chance for them to bring the NXT level matches to the Divas division. Because I don't feel like we've had much of that at this point. And th- these are the only kind of opportunities I think they're going to get at this point on that level. Um, well, it's, a, their... it's a pretty slim card, so they kind of have the opportunity to get 20 minutes out of it. Right. Well, I don't know about 20 minutes, but but even whatever they get um, um, could be could be the chance, right? Um, well, it's, it's the best opportunity that they've had, Stork. I mean, they actually have like a long story that's been drawn out. You're like one awesome video package away from like really getting everybody warmed up for that match when it happens. Just put it in the right place, the card, give it the right amount of time. I think it could work. And we could finally get that NXT level women's match finally on a main roster pay per view. It could happen. Mm-hmm. 
And another one, of course, uh, we, we have a, uh, a tag match. I didn't catch that this one was actually happening. Uh, New Day and Usos, of course. Uh, you know, Slammy Tag Team of the Year that everybody I know on this show is so <laughs> happy about. Uh, the Usos. Um, I, it'll be entertaining, and we will still mourn the death of Francesca the trombone. So, although did, did it come back? Was the trombone on Sports Center tonight? Yes. Yes. That's all. yes. There were three trombones on Sports Center tonight. There was oh. a tiny trombone, and there was a medium trombone, and there was a big old daddy trombone. I, I, I don't assume know that's what's Frances- going on there. I, I assume, assume that's Francesca's family. Francesca was reborn like Mil Muertes and is now more powerful than ever. I gotta say, I never, huh? I never named my trombone. Me neither. No. Well, now you can't. Did we all play trombone? Did this, Krista Joseph, did you play trombone in high school too? Uh, I, I played alto sax. Alto oh, sax. Nice <laughs> oh, you missed! I pulled out the trombone. Right, never. Did everybody play trombone? I uh, played trombone. Wow. I, nice. I, I played guitar in like grade school. What? You were the coolest kid out of all of us. So Nope, nope. Definitely not true. <laughs> <laughs> Garza, are you a musician? Uh, I did play uh, guitar. Oh, damn nice it. Of course you did. Damn it. Uh, I couldn't play... Mariachi, though. It was acoustic. I couldn't play hey, anything else. That's Garza, why became... are you really El Mariachi Loco? No, no, no. I'm just El Mariachi. Tranquilo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, other than that, and then we do have a last man standing, Kevin Owens and Dean Ambrose. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, just the buildup has been fun. Again, I'm the only one watching SmackDown, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I think they're doing some cool. I mean, it's basically, so since Roman became champ, Roman's just kind of stepped aside. He's become the John Cena and doesn't work Tuesday nights anymore, uh, which is just great because now it's the, the Kevin Owens and, and Dean Ambrose show. Uh, so I'm completely cool with that. Yeah, I think that match kind of needs to start off the pay-per-view. You think? Just, like, start it uh, strong and... Well, I feel like they, like, especially with the type of match that those guys usually have, they're going to need a break before the Rumble. Right, right. Or do they even get to the Rumble is the other thing. Oh, uh, that would be really unfortunate if neither of them made it to the Rumble. Well, hey, I haven't heard either of them mentioned for the Rumble yet, so... Well, know. no, um, uh, Paul Heyman mentioned that Brock Lesnar could go up against Dean Ambrose in the Rumble. He did. Oh, well, there you go. Then. I think he might even mention Kevin Owens, for that matter. No, he didn't. He, he didn't. specifically didn't. <clears throat> no one talks about Kevin Owens. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it'll be interesting to see. I don't know. A- anything else sticks out? Uh, uh, Royal Rumble. What You got any like, wild speculation what we might see at Royal Rumble? I, I think AJ Styles at 30. You think I, so? I think that's real. I think they're in Orlando, and he's just going to come out. And he's gonna say something like "Hi, Dixie" to the camera. I think it's gonna be <laughs> and too sweet for Dixie through the camera. <laughs> I think there will be a NXT guy. I don't think it'll be the one any of us want. I think there will be an NXT guy. Who, who do you think it's gonna be, Matt? I, I think it might be Baron Corbin. Oh, Ooh. actually, Do, doing the Rusev from two years ago. But I'm, I'm, I'm calling it, and I, I. I say that Owens will be in the Rumble, and Sami Zayn will eliminate him. Okay. All right. All, All right. right. All right. Because um, you uh, 2004 Mick Foley and Jess. Uh, uh, Chris, do you have, do you have a crazy yes. do you have a crazy uh, speculation for a Rumble that doesn't include something that may have may be yet to happen in Lucha Underground? Well, I'm predicting <laughs> the real. The, I'm predicting that the real Rumble will be happening in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh no! The Arizona Cardinals are going to win the <laughs> NFC. Oh no! <laughs> That's the, what I'll be watching. The, but uh, do I think anything's crazy? Hopefully, they're smart enough to let either Samoa Joe into the Royal Rumble or AJ Styles. Come on, give the people what they want. Make it happen. Or both. Why not? Yeah, both. both. That, yeah. That yeah. Proven effective, so it wouldn't be a bad idea. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That'd be great. They just end off. We just end up with like if Joe and AJ become the final part of the final four, just be awesome. Oh, it'd be amazing. Be absolutely yeah. amazing. So that uh, well, my, my last uh, wild ahead. speculation. Uh, since also we haven't talked about Gallows and Anderson, they're gonna debut and they're gonna help Bully Ray win the title and reform Aces and Nines. Yeah, I'm calling. <laughs> 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 but somebody will get confused. Somebody will get confused in the writing process, and they'll just call him DOA. Do you think Gallows will get hit, hit in the head and 
go back to being Festus at some point? <laughs> no, but as soon as the bell rings, he's just going to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh we boy. can have El Torito ride him around. So oh, 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 great. What, whatever <laughs> happened to his partner? What was, it, what was his name? Jesse? Fest, Jesse and Festus, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. Slam, yeah. Ma- Slam, Ma- aka Slam Master J. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Swift, with him, right? <laughs> Man. Yes, <that> was <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about the name Slam Master J. You hear stuff like that, and you don't feel so bad for Zack Ryder anymore. Yeah. I think surprise showing. I think we get one of the social outcasts in the final four. I can't even finish that. <laughs> Never mind. No, Never mind. I, no, actually, I I agree with that. I think one of them might get like destroyed by Lesnar on his way out to the ring, mm-hmm. and they pull um like they're just lying on the outside of the ring the whole time. I could Pretty absolutely see that. So maybe 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 one of the social outcasts does the Santino. Uh, Curtis Axel, he was never eliminated, Sorg. There you go. I'd like to see Axel do about 50 minutes in the Rumble and do like about a dozen near mm-hmm. elimination spots well, during the Rumble. Or do we, awesome. do we close the loop on last year and just eliminate him twice from the Royal Rumble this year? Hear that, or Axel's out second and Roman eliminates him right away. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry to interrupt because I do. The situation is social outcast. I have to chime in on, on a theory because uh, my theory is that you can't, you can't do that because you have to have all the social outcasts in the ring at the same time. So you debut the surprise entrance of the Yeti so they can Daniel Peter him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that might... The, that, that there might, you go. Oh, you mean the Yeti from Tough Enough, not the Yeti from the... Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, I, I got a, really confused for a straight. second. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, like I meant the WCW Yeti. I meant the <laughs> Why not? <laughs> from like 20 years ago. <laughs> Why not? We can put Great Kali in toilet paper. Hey. Riz would love that. The greatest call of Tony Schiavone's career. <laughs> the Yeti? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see what's happening at Royal Rumble, but uh, uh, it, 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 coming up soon, we're going to look at the big question and uh, look forward to WrestleMania as we book it with the Mayhem Mania. But first, let's. Uh, hey, we just celebrated ten years of the Wrestling Mayhem show this past week, and uh, it was really awesome for you guys to, to uh, sit down and tell us, answer some questions about your origins, about other things. But this week, I want you guys to take a look at um who the crew thinks should get on the show in 2016 there's some interesting stories some interesting ideas uh let's just take a look we'll be right back 